you've got to pay them some indulgence if you want to be able to operate and live. Look at the Infowars.com articles. Obama Surgeon General pick. Guns are public health issues. See, England's about two steps ahead of us on this, or about five years ahead of us. Here's the article from yesterday. Doctors forced to become state snitches to spot radical parents, and the mayor of London has called for anyone who's a nationalist or conservative to have their children taken. This is mainstream news. And by the way, they are taking them. Visitors that come, uh, especially from Eastern Europe, who have the babies they can sell for 300, 400,000 pounds, are having their kids taken at the airports for no reason. So there's now emergency advisories going out not to travel to England because they will, the CPS will grab your children at the airport. Or if you're seen yelling at your kids, your kids are gone. They'll be in a Saudi dungeon being gang raped pretty quickly. Now, continuing here, doctors forced to become, or they'll be with Savelle getting their throat slit with the prime ministers. Um, doctors forced to become state snitches to spot radical patients. And it goes on to uh, radical, uh, meaning anyone that disagrees with the government. So they're just government spies, and you're in a psych warfare meeting. Uh, here's another one. Now, this is in the U.S. Obama's Surgeon General pick. Guns are a public health issue. Murthy's organization calls for doctors to interrogate patients about guns in the home, including your children. And then, of course, call CPS on you claiming that, oh, they're a doctor. They're a high priest wearing a white lab coat. You're the little lab rat. And so, and so this is the guy he wants for attorney general. So, of course, this has been going on for a while, but that's what they're doing. By the way, here's that New York Times article. Just I, I didn't even know they'd been in the New York Times. I'd read it in AP. Uh, a new use for LEDs, mind control. Biological specific lights to make you restful, sleep better, and not be depressed. Yeah, and they're giving the trip shots that cure them of depression after seven, eight tours. The virus, the live virus actually eats areas of the brain. It's designed to go into certain chemical areas that have certain receptor sites and dad comes home and he's not upset anymore. He just does whatever mom tells him. She says, go get this groceries. Yes, ma'am. Oh, yeah. I, I, oh, yeah. These troops are now coming back. And believe me, they're not depressed anymore because they're not humans anymore. Oh, by the way, it came out about a month ago in Wired Magazine. They're now admitting what I was already told years ago. They're brain shipping troops who sign waiver forms to not be depressed anymore. The, uh, guys, type in uh, chips to help with PTSD. Or, or, or brain implants to help with PTSD. You know, my, uh, I have a cousin uh, who's now, just now got out of the military after 30 years. And uh, last few years he was in secret operations in Mexico. <clears throat> uh, and he says it's corrupt. He won't tell me everything about it. He says that's why he's getting out. But, and of course the State Department and Northcom run everything. But the point is, is that, oh yeah, there it is. Uh, We've got all the articles about uh, about uh, brain chips. Uh, I don't know if that's the one about PTSD and brain chips. Uh, that's blast to the head, primed brains for PTSD study says, no, no, the exact headline to pull it up would be uh, implants to help with PTSD in troops. And, and then it's articles about brain implants that shows a guy in the chair getting a brain implant and how easy it is. It's a small hole and then there's no more pain. Brain implants. But um, this is about eight years ago. He goes, I got to apologize to you. We were having a little family reunion. He goes, they called us in, the officers, and said special forces are going to be getting chips, but you're not allowed to tell anybody. And it's going to start with the non-commissioned officers. And then next time I asked anybody, he says, I'm not allowed to talk about it. Well, see, I went on air and told everybody they're putting chips in people at that time. Now it's admitted. That's for their safety, of course. And Mexican police are getting them. And uh, the attorney general got them, I don't know, 10 years ago in Mexico for kidnapping or whatever. But I went, oh, and if you have the chip in Miami, you can get into the Baja Beach Club, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's so trendy. It's so cool. And that's all South by Southwest is, is a big exercise in how to be chipped and how wonderful it is and how fantastic it is and how super duper it is. And my point is, this is all just going on. They're now giving trips, quote, anti-stress vaccine that is a virus, I'm going to say this again, that literally goes into the area associated with spiritual experiences, euphoria, endorphins, creativity, higher brain waves, but also with depression, anger, 
Because you're supposed to be depressed and angry you were used for seven, eight tours in a phony war to ship narcotics out of Afghanistan or whatever when the government runs al-Qaeda openly. There it is. Pentagon wants to fit soldiers with a little box brain implant. Yeah, so you won't just be the depressed soldiers. It's going to be all the soldiers now. And you go see RoboCop and it prepares you for that. What's wrong with the brain implant, boys and girls? 30 years ago, they were remote controlling cockroaches with a chip on their head. It was a larger chip back then. It was a wafer. I guess about a quarter of an inch square. Right on its head with a little antenna. They had robo rats 30 years ago. Mother, tell your children not to walk my way. Father, do you want to bang heads with me? Do you want to feel everything? Father! We'll be right back. I'm Alex Jones. Virtually anyone can hack your cell phone and track your calls, your texts, your emails, your every movement, but only if they can detect a signal. Stay one step ahead of hackers and Big Brother with a Block It Pocket, a custom-made pocket infused with pure silver that creates a complete Faraday enclosure for your cell phone. For free shipping to the lower 48, visit BlockItPocket.com or call 888-315-9618, BlockItPocket.com, enhancing health and privacy. Attention gun owners, it's reasonable to assume that at some point you may need to defend your family from an armed attack. But is it reasonable to mount a defense without a strong offense? Infidel Body Armor goes on in seconds, is civilian legal in all 50 states, is 100% made in the USA, is veteran owned, and ships next business day for free. Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com. I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor. Just won't quit. Uh, we travel so much, and having a fake TV, well, it gives added peace of mind. Burglars look for houses that appear to be easy targets. But fake TV can fool even professional burglars into thinking someone is home watching television. As a recent widow living alone, it gives me great peace of mind to set my fake TV near a window and know that passing motorists and pedestrians will think someone is home watching TV when I'm actually away from home. Fake TV easily plugs into any outlet, just like a light on a timer. And they're so easy to use, you just plug them in and they're ready to go. Plus, they're so affordable that we have one upstairs and downstairs. Fake TV is only $29.95 with free shipping. Order your fake TV by calling 877-5-FAKE-TV or go to faketv.com. That's 877-532-5388 or faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. You've been hearing about the amazing benefits of heart and body extract for many years. Now, hear from the co-founder. My name is Tony Knudsen, and I am the co-founder of Heart and Body Extract. We've been in business for over 13 years now. With thousands of satisfied customers who have experienced the amazing benefits but never experienced a price hike. We've kept consistent pricing the whole entire time the company's been in business and will continue to do so. Call today for Heart and Body Extract, 866-295-5305, or visit hbextract.com. Clean water at home, clean water at the office, clean water on the go. The Berkey Guy has a Berkey water filtration model for anywhere you are and one that fits any budget. Thousands of satisfied customers can't be wrong. For free shipping within the U.S., go to GoBerkey.com or call 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Helping thousands prepare since 2005, GoBerkey.com. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. All right, if you go up to Infowars.com, I'm asking everyone to help us. If you go to Infowars.com, it's back to the top of the page. Armed Texans to march at South by Southwest. Bloomberg, the World Bank sponsoring it are here having anti-gun events to ban gun shows private transfer of firearms uh and of course their open goal to then finally register all guns and confiscate them as they've done in their command base in new york city the globalist stronghold the u.n base 
So there's going to be an armed march starting tomorrow, and then the big one is going to be on Saturday. Maps, details, Jakari Jackson's report. It's all up on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. In fact, guys, will you retweet it out and say, uh, Tex Texans to march against Bloomberg's anti-gun tyranny. Are armed Texans to march against Bloomberg's victim disarmament? Something like that. Send it out with the article, please. Uh, at Real Alex Jones. Retweet it, everybody. Because Jakari and Leanne McAdoo are going to be down there tomorrow at the start of the armed march. And this is impromptu to kickstart the big one on Saturday. But I, I guess there's going to be 30, 40 people already that are saying they're going to show up with their firearms. And we've done this a lot. We did it at the Alamo, even though they said it was illegal in San Antonio. No, it's not. We have the state law on our side. We marched with the land commissioner armed. And we defeated the enemy by exercising our rights. We went and voted. We went and ate at the lunch counter. We sat at the front of the bus. And you can just go straight to hell if you don't like it. <laughs> Anyways... Uh, hardcore human rights, God-given rights, true civil rights movement, true liberalism in Thomas Jefferson vein of guns and property and family and consciousness and free association tomorrow with Jacardi Jackson, Leanne McAdoo, and the Patriots are going to be marching. I'm so excited. I, I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. I think I may go down there the more I think about it. Maybe I'm going to arm march with my M4, maybe my 308 Reaper. Maybe I should march. That would be a good workout with my Barrett 50 caliber. See how everybody likes that. Just in their face, freak out all the trendies. Show them what real liberalism is. Liberalism is not just the government has guns. I have guns. And look, nobody's getting hurt. And the criminals are scared. And police chiefs and the head of Interpol are saying, arm the citizens. It's true. Freedom. A lot of people in the system want freedom, folks. But we have to be the leaders. Let's go to Jakari Jackson's report. Get this video report and text report with the maps, everything. Get it out to everybody. And if you are in Central Texas, I want to see your butt down there at noon tomorrow. I'm going to march down Congress from by the Capitol. Don't go on the Capitol because they'll claim some weird law about that and come after you. But the awesome police, Arde Soveda, his lordship, has said he will not go after anybody that is openly carrying unless they're rudely displaying. And that means have it pointed at the ground on your back, aim down, because you that is a law. And it's common law. You don't pull your sword out and wave it around at people. If a cop pulled his gun out and waved it around, he'd go to jail if he did it randomly. At least he should in the real world. So, you know, obviously good etiquette with everybody. Uh, but we're going to be marching. And Arde Saveda is, unless he gets orders from Bloomberg, he has said that he will uh, buy by the Second Amendment. Because open carry does it all the time in Austin, has no problem. It's the state police that say, we don't care. We've been ordered by the feds who we serve. Do we have time to get to the Jackson's report now? We don't have time now. I'll get to it after Stallman leaves us. The video reports up on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. And I'm hitting refresh on mine. Can we put the article up on screen for folks out there? Uh, if it's up on Infowars.com. See, Supremes may block ban on high capacity magazine. That's a Kurt Nemo story. Uh, we need to put a question mark in front of Infowars to force the refresh. And then there it is. Armed Texans to march at South by Southwest. March begins at high noon on Wednesday. March 12th at the corner of 12th Street and San Jacinto. Well, we wouldn't turn our guns in then either. <laughs> First time there's been a speech in front of the Alamo since it happened in 1836, and I was there. And I could feel the animating spirit of liberty. Get behind me, Satan. Get behind me, Bloomberg. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poison
protections with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. 